Electric double-layer capacitors are electrochemical capacitors which energy storage predominant is achieved by double-layer capacitance. In the past, all electrochemical capacitors were called double-layer capacitors. However, since some years it is known that double-layer capacitors together with pseudo-capacitors are part of a new family of electrochemical capacitors, called supercapacitors, also known as ultracapacitors. Supercapacitors do not have a conventional solid dielectric. See the entry on supercapacitors for an in-depth treatment on the subject. The capacitance value of a supercapacitor is determined by two storage principles. Double layer capacitance, electrostatic storage of the electrical energy achieved by separation of charge in a Helmholtz double layer at the interface between the surface of a conductor electrode and an electrolytic solution electrolyte. The separation of charge distance in a double layer is on the order of a few angstroms and is static in origin. Pseudocapacitance, electrochemical storage of the electrical energy, achieved by redox reactions electrosorption or intercalation on the surface of the electrode by specifically adsorbed ions that results in a reversible Faradayic charge transfer on the electrode. Double layer capacitance and pseudocapacitance both contribute inseparable to the total capacitance value of a supercapacitor. However, the ratio of the two can vary greatly, depending on the design of the electrodes and the composition of the electrolyte. Pseudocapacitance can increase the capacitance value by as much as an order of magnitude over that of the double layer by itself. Supercapacitors are divided into three family members based on the design of the electrodes. Pseudocapacitors, with electrodes made of metal oxides or conducting polymers with much higher Faradayic pseudocapacitance than the static double-layer capacitance. Hybrid capacitors, capacitors with special electrodes that exhibit both significant double-layer capacitance and pseudocapacitance such as lithium-ion capacitors. However, because double-layer capacitance and pseudo-capacitance both contribute inseparable to the total capacitance value of an electrochemical capacitor, a correct description of these capacitors only can be given under the generic term, C supercapacitor, commercial double-layer capacitors. More specifically, commercial EDLCs in which energy storage predominant is achieved by double-layer capacitance. Energy is stored by forming an electrical double layer of electrolyte ions on the surface of conductive electrodes. Since EDLCs are not limited by the electrochemical charge transfer kinetics of batteries, it can charge in discharge at a lot higher rate with lifetimes of more than 1 million cycles. The EDLC energy density is determined by operating voltage and the specific capacitance of the electrode electrolyte system. The specific capacitance is related to the specific surface area accessible by the electrolyte, its interfacial double layer capacitance, and the electrode material density. Commercial EDLCs are based on two symmetric electrodes impregnated with electrolytes comprising tetraethylaminium tetrafluoroborate salts in organic solvents. Current EDLC with organic electrolytes operates at 2.7 V, reach energy densities around 5 to 8 Watt hours per kilogram and 7 to 10 Watt hours liter. The specific capacitance is related to the specific surface area accessible by the electrolyte, its interfacial double layer capacitance, and the electrode material density. Graphene-based platelets with mesoporous spacer material is a promising structure for increasing the SSA of the electrolyte.